Hi, I'm Jake and today I'm going to show you how to make this effect. I know that a lot of you know Adobe After Effects pretty well and this video will be great for you. You'll see all the key things which I did to create this effect. And this effect I'll explain in under 4 minutes. And if you are a beginner, don't worry, I thought of you as well. This is why first link in description is a link to my Skillshare page, where you can find all of my detailed tutorials, which are great for beginners. I explain each and every step which I take, so you would know not only where to find certain tools, but most importantly, why we are using these tools. And now, let's get started. First of all, you need to key out yourself. I've used blue screen, but simple redis copying will work too. Then I've auto traced myself to get a mask around myself. Now, with a save track mask, I can animate expansion to vanish myself. Also, I created a mask around my eyes, so my head will disappear less. To get more rough edges, I've applied a rough and edges effect and tweaked the settings to my liking. Then I've duplicated footage with me and made my mask additive instead of subtract, so this mask now will reveal myself instead of vanishing me. And here is cool trick. If you duplicate your mask and set to subtract and move second mask keyframes to the right on timeline, you'll get this cool looking shockwave effect. Then play with the timing to make shockwave footage follow exactly on edge with you disappearing. Same thing you'll need to do to your head, if you want your head to disappear last like I did in preview. You can also apply a drop shadow effect to add a feel of thickness to shockwave part of yourself. To add even more complexity to your effect, you can duplicate a shockwave layer, which I've called spiky edges, and colorize it as you want. By the way, this shockwave part of myself I've used as a source of generating particles, which I've tweaked a bit to make it look more like a sparks. And by the way, I also have an in-depth beginner-friendly class on creating sparks on my Skillshare page. But let's work on our spiky shockwave edge a bit more. We can actually add a glow effect and using curves you can add any colors which you want. I went with fire kind of look, but you can change to any color which you like. Finally, I've duplicated my spiky edges effect and moved in time on timeline to make it go a bit later and made duplicates darker, so it will resemble the back part of my body. And also I've added glow so it would be easier for viewers to see. At this point I've got this result. Also to add more variety in color, I've duplicated one of my shockwaves effects and using curves gave more variety of colors. At this point I can enable my particles. I've also created particles which generate and stay in place, then slowly disappear to give an illusion of disintegrating particles of me. I've applied the CC vector blur to mix these particles and get this interesting kind of look and finally blend in with my footage using screen blending mode. And by darkening the background at the moment of pruning, I've made it look even brighter. To get more professionally looking coloring, I've used Video Copilot color vibrance effect. And for more accurate glow, I've used Optical Glow by Red Giant. And by tweaking curves for final color grading, I've got this result. If you are new to After Effects, feel free to check my beginner's type of this tutorial on my Skillshare page. And by the link in the description, you'll get the first month for free. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate that I'm getting more new subscribers. I would love to know what effect you want to see next. Special thanks to those of you who have been watching me for past few years. You're the best. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you next time.